What is up, guys? Welcome to Back to the Future, the game. Yes, that is correct. Back to the Future, the game. I decided since I uh, like Walking Dead so much, decided to give another Telltale Games game a try. So I chose this one, because Back to the Future is badass. And, yeah. Gonna jump in our DeLorean here. Before we begin, would you like to see notifications when Marty has a new goal? Why not? All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 118 AM. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, I need... Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In oh, your I need... Get down. Get your seatbelt on. This is like the same as the movie whoa, so whoa, far. Whoa, okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, check, Doc. Got it, Doc. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Yep. Watch this. Sure do. Okay, got it. Not me. The car. The car. Oh, my bad, my bad. I got it. I see its headlights. Where you going, Doc? Where you going? If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, we're, we're gonna, gonna see, see some, some serious, serious shit. shit. <laughs> Just like the movie. Watch this. Watch oh, get this. the fuck out of the way! You disintegrated Einstein, man. The temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds. Ah, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Doc. You disintegrated Einstein. Calm down, Marty. I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact. Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, <laughs> when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. And at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? Wait, yes, see, Marty. If you're gonna build a time machine, that is exactly car, what I'm telling you. Some style. Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! Um. Uh, Doc. Huh? Oh, that's peculiar. Oh, uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us. 27 seconds ago. I don't think this happened in the movie. Doc, uh, w what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuit. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Doc needs his notebook. Walk Marty to the left until you can see Doc's toolbox. Let's go, Marty. There it is. Notebook, notebook. Got it. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux the capacitor? The flux capacitor. The thing that makes time travel possible. In this notebook, I detail the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. That would That's not it. be good. 
mass equals i times z and e equals the square root of z times c squared hmm. and the flux dispersal rate is inversely proportional to the fourth root of n uh, something's way off here Oh shit. What's going on? Uh, Doc? Doc, what's going on, dude? Great oh, Scott. shit. Doc, Got different it? timelines you converging. Sorry, Marty. Doc, come back! Doc! Doc, come back! Don't leave Doc. me. Ah, oh, phew. It was just a dream. Marty? Is everything okay? Sure, Mom. Yeah, Mom. I... It was... It was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past, and... Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late! Back to the future! The game. I love Back to the Future. Episode 1. It's about time. It is about time. It's about time to do a lot of things. It's about time to play Back to the Future Episode 1. It's about time. Yeah, what do you guys think about that one? Hello, kitty cat, owl, and puppy dog. What? Dad! Are we too late to stop the... sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's Doc stuff. The city has no right now, to... Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage, and... Hey, is that hey no, dude, you're not selling room? Doc shit, it's man. It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty! Dude, is that Biff? Oh my god, it is Biff. What the, the fuck is he doing here? Treasure? Fucking Biff. Nah, I guess I'm just... ...remembering. Fuck you, Biff. Select items around the lab to make sure Doc didn't leave anything dangerous lying around. Hmm. I wonder why Doc didn't take any of these with him. Where the fuck did Doc go? Anything dangerous, huh? Fish tank. Clocks. More clocks. George. Hey, George. The fuck is this? Whoa. Jukebox? Oh, mind reading helmet. Yeah, that can't be good. Feels like that was a lifetime ago. Actually, I guess it was. I guess that's not dangerous. Doc built this model at Downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. Hey, hey, Biff, Biff, get the fuck off. Uh, Biff, 
Put that shit can, down, can Biff. I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Can I see that model courthouse for just a second? I need to get something out of it. Like what? A not guilty verdict? Oh, come on, Biff. Quit being a dickhead, man. That was a man. joke. Oh, ha. But really, can I? No, I think I'll hold on to it. Oh, my God. Give it here, Same Biff. old Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Biff, come on, man. It's like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Flux Doc catheter? Worm food, kid. You don't even know how to this fucking looks read, like Biff. This might be worth something. Huh. Oh, go punch him in the face, Marty. How do I get it back? Fuck you go. Get your ass over here, Biff. I'm gonna fuck you up if you don't give me that shit. Hey, Biff. I only want that notebook because, well, I'm, I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of Doc. Doc's dead! Time to get over it and move oh on! Oh my god, I'm gonna punch this guy right in his face. I'll buy it, maybe? I'll pay you for it. How much? Uh... Not enough! Oh. I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What, is it set to explode or something? Sure is. Uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. Oh my god. It's just a notebook with Doc's scribblings. What did Doc ever accomplish? Nothing. Yeah, then it's worthless, right? If it was really worthless, you wouldn't want it so bad. Oh my god, I'm gonna punch this guy right in his face. That notebook wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. You calling me ignorant? I'm calling you a dumbass. I'll pay you for it. How much? Uh, Not enough. Oh my... I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What, is it set to explode or something? Well, uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. Alright, obviously there's nothing there. Uh, never mind. Yeah, you wait, Biff. Yeah, fucking click on a hint. I would take a pretty powerful force to knock that notebook out of Biff's grip. Hmm. Okay. Well. Let's go look around for something that I can beat the fuck out of Biff with. Oh yeah. Let's take my guitar here. Hey dad, why's my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry son, must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up, I'll iron things out with the bank. Blinking inventory. Now that you've opened your inventory, you can highlight items by clicking on the next or previous items button. Wait, where? I keep this picture of my dad to remind me that even the most hopeless losers can grow up to be pretty cool guys. Yep, sure. Let's use this. Is this shit armed? Oh, hell yeah. We're gonna blast Biff the fuck away. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look. It's Chuck Butthead. Fuck you, Biff. Let me show you how it's done. Now, Biff. Crank that I shit think up, that's man. That's Marty's guitar. Oh, <laughs> gosh. <laughs> You're right, Mr. McFly. Here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. <laughs> wow, that was sizzling hot. Like a melting ice cube. Did he leave it? I think he left it. 
Oh, I thought he left it. What the fuck? Let's make some noise. Oh yeah. Come here, Biff. Come come stand in front of this fucking speaker. There we go. Come here, Biff. And now something your kids are really gonna like. Thanks for warming them up for me, butthead. Ah, you're fucked Biff, there, buddy. I thought I told you not to take my son's guitar. Oh, right. Sure thing, Mr. McFly. I was just warming them up for you, Marty. Let's see what you got. Okay, Biff. <laughs> what the hell, man? Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. Son of a bitch, what am I doing wrong here? I better not crank it up anymore. I really don't want to blow this thing out again. You want to hear a number play it, Biff, Biff, in the play it. Tones? Always happy to play for my adoring fans. Now, Biff. Oh, no, yeah. let him play it. Go, Fucking George, come on, man. Okay, wait. I just I just blew the box away. Man, you kids of Son of a rock and bitch. Roll. I I'm confused. I fuck what the fuck is going on here? Yeah, I need I'll bet that giant speaker packs a powerful punch. Yeah, no shit. It's nice that Marty's dad wants to defend him, but sometimes you gotta fight your own fights. Uh-huh, no shit. Talk to George and tell him to let Marty fight his own battles. Okay. This game is confusing. It's more confusing than The Walking Dead. Hey, Dad. About Biff. Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe okay, Dad, me, well... I can handle him. So can I. I'm gonna need you to fuck off, please. I guess you can. Okay, Thank you. Okay, son. I'll stay out of your way. You know where to find me. I'll keep Kay. looking around. Thanks, Dad. Now get your fucking ass over here, Biff. You want to hear a number by Biff and the Biff Tones? Always sure. To play for yeah, my yeah, fans. play it, man. Go ahead. Yep. Now watch Hit it. Me blow the this joint whatever you say go for it yep fuck you biff rock on biff that's what you get you piece of shit oh shit i got the notebook i have accomplished my mission ah, doc where are you Doc, is that you? Are you back? Search for clues. Doc? Are you in there, Doc? Cold, man. Einstein. Einstein. Where do you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? What's up, dude? Okay, Doc. A shoe. I, know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Retrieval? In case 
my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I programmed the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now, or then, or uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, you come to my rescue in the past. Or oh, was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please, take the DeLorean back, or, or forward, to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you gonna tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading mark, last time departed. Good luck. Right, right, last time departed, last time departed. Uh, oh, jeez. Come on, come on. Come on. Crap! Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? Um... I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Once I know when to look for Doc. I can use those to enter a date into the time oh, I circuits. didn't... What the fuck? Once I know when to look for Doc. <laughs> Looks like the time circuits still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Doc. Hmm. Maybe we should check our book again? Follow the trail. Where's the book at, Marty? In my inventory. This notebook has all of Doc's plans for the flux capacitor and the DeLorean. I'd better make sure it never falls into the wrong hands. And by wrong hands, I mostly mean bit. After all the trouble I went through getting this thing, there's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. Okay, well, fucking... Can we read it? You got anything on you, Einie? What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? Can you translate that, please? After all the trouble I went through getting oh, this thing, shit. there's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. Nah. I don't think so. Man. What? What the fuck is Einstein gonna do with the goddamn shoe? about this shoe, Einie. Great Scott! I think he's onto something! Hell yeah! Nice ollie, man. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Einie? Strickland. Step away from the door. Hey, now, calm down, lady. Let me get a look at you. Einstein, come on. Just as I suspected. Hooligans. Get along now. Scat. I'm not a hooligan, ma'am. I'm a, a teenager. I wasn't born yesterday, young man. Aren't you the miscreant who skateboards through the town square every morning between 8 and 8.30 in a decidedly unpunctual
sexual manner? Uh, you have yeah. no life. All skateboarders are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Hey, fuck you, lady. You're a hooligan. Stay your business, child. You're making me miss Merv. Well, see, that's the thing. I'm not sure why I'm here. Einstein here brought me, and... Well? Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. A shoe? Wow, now what would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> Stay there! Yeah, that's what I thought, bitch. Mine's brand new. Ha 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 ha. Heine, calm down. Hey, don't be mean to Einstein. That's Sorry, not nice. Einstein. Smack you with my shoe. Or your your shoe, I guess I should say. Well, took you long enough. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Mm, much better. So neat and orderly. Nah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... All I've got is tea and candy. But... I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to... Yeah, you better be. But that hurt my fucking all, feelings, nine lady. Nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. I it's cried that. inside. Look it up. Uh... Have a seat, Sonny. Can I get some tea and crumpets? No? Okay. Hey! You kids! Put out those cigarettes! Oh my. Lady, you need to calm down. Uh, Miss Strickland? Jack! Diane! I know what you're doing behind that tree! Yes? Remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe! <laughs> yeah! Hi, what a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. But... Oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh... Yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. <gasps> when was it? Oh, yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. <laughs> a speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. <laughs> Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Every single issue? From 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. Okay. I would like to know... I guess when speakeasy burned must down. Be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally, yeah, I probably wrote it myself. <laughs> I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. Oh, you bitch. Um. Doing some stargazing? Oh, I set my sights on the lower things. Is that? Jim Tannen! Get away from that hubcap before I call your father! 
talk about neighborhood watch. Don't let me keep you from your business. I'm gonna go snoop even through the newspapers. Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground. Dear Lord. Don't touch those. Hey, I want to know when it burned down. Pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. I told you not to touch those. I don't care, lady. I need to fucking look at this. I told you not to touch those. Of course. Can I please look at that? Excuse me, Miss Strickland. Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. So where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch... No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a, a student of history. Student of history? My Aunt Fanny! Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two ripe things about history. Miss Strickland? Oh, video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape Reynolds store squats today. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. Don't let me keep you from your business. Alright, I'm out of here, lady. Well, maybe... Miss Strickland? So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following Aww. year, as I recall. Fine. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally! Yeah, I probably wrote it myself! Can I please look at it? I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. Oh, thanks a lot for your fucking your bullshit help, lady. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Is that... Vice Principal Strickland? Mother never could keep little Gerald out of her clothes. Alright, I don't think there's fucking anything in here. Would you mind if I stepped out for a minute? I, I just remembered a video I've got to return. Do you have to go? I get so few visitors these days. Well, if you would have let me look I'd through your fucking newspapers. My brother, your vice principal in charge of discipline. How rude you were to me. <laughs> Especially with graduation coming up and all. Oh wow, seriously, you won't let me fucking leave? Uh, Miss Strickland, how about your tea? Uh, you forgot to turn on the... It's spelled with a U! Oh, you I've had enough of this lady you. already, dude. Man, she keeps it hot in here. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. Then don't touch anything. Shit, go through the papers. Hurry up.
Alright, come on, come on, come on. Juveniles collide with manure truck. <laughs> nice picture. Hmm. Brown Mansion destroyed. 1962. No, no, that's not where Doc's stranded. Alright, Einstein brought me this shoe, and Miss Strickland lost the shoe on the day the speakeasy burned down. But when did the speakeasy burn down? I yeah, it's fucking in here. here, man. Firm announces plans for Lone Pine Mall. Son Anybody of a bitch. Ranch to be rezoned for commercial development. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. It's gotta be in here. Clint Eastwood plunges to death on runaway train. What? I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Oh, Which Jesus. It's down to a year at least. October 28th, 1985. Authorities still mystified by Maul's shootout. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Well, how the fuck am I supposed to do that, dude? I gotta say, guys. Peculiar. The water still hasn't come to a boil. This is a little bit more difficult than The Walking Dead. I gotta say that. They don't give you shit to go on. Marshall Strickland. My grandfather. Gunned down by Mad Dog Tannen over a hundred years ago. That's not how I remember it. Oh, that candy looks older than I am. Miss Strickland? I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. Oh yeah, yeah let's hear this all myself. over a fucking game. Seriously? I was what the hell is going on with this goddamn game? You need to give me a fucking Any hint, what dude. That article came out. Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. Oh, I am not gonna listen to her say that oh, shit I need again. To from your business. Now she's going to... Oh, not my to God. Touch those. The fucking video store went up. You're looking for a date, you'll find it on a building? Wow, man, really? You expect people to just figure that shit out, like... Mind if I take a look? Go ahead, dear. February 1932. Rebuilt in February 1932. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. My god, that I'm was a goddamn too date. Old for you. Oh yeah. Of course it is. Fucking send her out of the room again. There's the whistle! Surely the water's boiling by now! Fe February 1932. Let's see. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old-fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. 
The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his... Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob. What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. June 14th, 1931. Oh, you're in trouble. My newspapers! Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let me... No! You've gotten my history out of order! Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Oh, get out! Get out! Get out! I'm going, you witch. Help! Oh man. 